Hello, my darlings. It's about that time. The time has come to open my signed Louboutins. I am still in shock. I'm still processing. I'm still like, what is going on? You guys know um, that when I was working as a professor, that when we went to New York, I got to meet Diane von Furstenberg. Came back, went back up there with a student who was on the Tamron Hall show. That was huge in itself. Went to Nordstrom, realized that there was a Christian Louboutin event and that he was actually signing shoes. It took me a good like 15, 20 minutes to like really process what was going on because this has actually been a, some people say manifestation, some people, well, however you want to phrase it. One of my favorite YouTubers, Sanal Maharali, I want to say that's how you say her name. I'll link her videos or her page down here in the description box. About two, three years ago, I watched one of her videos where she went to um, a, a Christian Louboutin signing in London. She's a Kenyan vlogger. Um, and her passion is that Africa is ready for luxury. That's her tagline. So she's a luxury YouTuber and I love watching her hauls. I love watching her closet. Like she's just amazing to me um, because she's one of those people that you can tell that she actually loves this stuff. Like this is art for her. And so I like watching people like that. It's not just like a random haul of like stuff that you just bought. It's like she's walking you through each piece and why she likes each piece. And it's really like candy. Like when you're watching, you're just like her voice is so soothing. Anyway, I watched her um, at that event and I was like, oh, my gosh, can you imagine like having Christian Louboutin sign your shoes? And it was just like, yes, I can. <laughs> so he's been to Miami. I don't know if he was signing shoes at the at the um, store in the design district, but he has a store in the design district, and he was here. I want to say he probably was signing shoes. If he was making an appearance, he most probably was signing shoes, and I wasn't able to make that event. You guys know, or maybe you don't know if you're new to this channel, my favorite shoe, my two, I have two favorite shoes. The first one is the Manolo Hangy C. That's the Sarah Jessica, Sarah Jessica Parker, the Sex in the City shoe, the one that Big proposed with, right? The blue shoe with the, with the um, embellishment on the front. The second shoe, second and third shoe, because it's the same shoe, different colorway, is the nude patent Pigal Plateau Christian Louboutin and the black patent Pigal Plateau, Pigal Plateau um, Christian Louboutin Pup. They have just, I just, they're just such a beautiful shoe to me. Um, that being said, I always thought that if you were to sign a shoe, it would be that shoe. So when we went to Nordstrom, or when I went to Nordstrom, um, and I play, I literally just went there because it had just opened and I wasn't able to go when I was there the few weeks back. Um, and I was actually on my way to Bergdorf Goodman <laughs> to see the marvelous Mrs. Maisel uh, presentation that they had. I think it's like on the sixth floor. It was one of the upper floors. I was actually going to go to that presentation because I wasn't able to make it when I went before. Um, and just happened upon Nordstrom and I was like, oh my gosh. Nordstrom. I want to go in. I want to see what it looks like because I'm a Nordstrom fiend, right? Nordstrom, Nordstrom Michigan Avenue is my number one favorite store. Nordstrom Seattle, by far, one of my favorite stores. And I just wanted to see how it compared. And I, I should have just done a video on Nordstrom because it was such a beautiful store. Anyway, went upstairs. Um, and you know what? I'll insert video. If you have, if you didn't watch my New York video, I'm just going to insert the video here because it was just like, what is going on? <laughs> Let me start the video and then we'll get to the actual unboxing. Okay, so Christian Louboutin is here, guys. Can you see him right there? And so I think I'm going to be buying a pair of shoes today. <laughs> Christmas gift, birthday gift, and everything else. Um, let's take a look. I really, I, I really want the Pagal Plateaus and that's what I've been wanting for a minute. Um, now would be the perfect time to get them because he's signing them. Uh, let's see, 9.45 for this boot. Let me show you what the Pagal Plateau is. Hold on, let me get, let me see if I can get around. Hold on, let me see. Oh, here's another boot that's kind of cute. Let's see, Pagal Plateau, let's go around. It's beautiful. Let's go around. Oops. 
Okay guys, so this is the one I'm thinking about. Very classic. You guys see that? Very cute. I'm gonna try on some boots though, because I feel like if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> but yeah. So I wanted the Pagal Plateau. Let me let me let me go back and say that I called my husband number one because it was about to be a deduction. <laughs> and you know, we put away, you know, a hundred, a few hundred dollars, you know, a month for stuff like this because he knows his wife. He, he knows his wife. Okay. Um, and there's Christian, there's Christian money. There's uh, Christmas money that I've saved and so on and so forth. Anyway, I have this like kitty for my, you know, Pagal Plateaus because I've wanted them for like four or five years and I've never bought them. Right. So I call my husband like, oh my God, Christian Louboutin's here. I got to get my shoe. got to get my shoe. He's like, all right, we'll shift the money around and get your shoe. And I'm like, okay, so go and ask the lady. I was like, I want the Pagal Plateau. She's like, we don't have any more. It's one of our, it's, I think it's probably one of their um, most famous other than, you know, the Socates or the regular, the Pagal Foley's. Um, so they didn't have that shoe. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm not living here without him signing a shoe. So I need to find a, I need to find a shoe. So I was like, okay, well, the only other shoe that I would get when I lived in Dallas um, at North Park Mall they had a Louboutin display and they had these beautiful black boots. And there's something about like wearing, you know, a black turtleneck, black, um, black leather leggings and like a black, black cape with a black boot with the red bottom. Like, I, I just feel like that's so sexy. And I say that to say when I went to Nordstrom, I was wearing all black and I tried on the black Louboutin. I was like, ooh, the black boot. Like, this is sexy. So I said, if I'm going to get another... I'm going to get him to sign something. And I know I'm rambling on because I'm still like, did that really happen? Like, did I meet DBF? Did I go to the Tamron Hall show? Did I have Louis Vuitton? Like, what? Um, anyway, let's unbox the shoe. Okay, so I got the Torella new book. So, so something, something desert. Um, normally, from what, I, from what I recall, I do have a few pair here. These are sandals. Louboutins used to run really small. Well, I think they corrected the sizing because I used to be a 41 and now I'm back to a 40, which is my size, like 40, 40, 40 or 40.5. Um, anyway, so when you get the Louboutins, you get, of course, the black shoe cloth or red shoe cloth. And so here is the shoe cloth. And so what happened was because I had gotten there, I literally had just gotten off the plane, dropped off my bags at the hotel um and went there they were he was signing from two to four i had gotten there around five so they weren't letting you in line to have him sign your shoes because he was still i mean from what from what they said the line had been there since eight o'clock that morning and it was five o'clock and he was still signing shoes he he was there from like two to four one to four something like that um but what they said was you can buy the shoes and everything will be sent to his hotel and he will sign them there and it'll ship to you so I stood there, I was watching him sign all these shoes. I don't know which shoes I want him to sign. And so uh, there were people that he had, you know, signed their shoes and they were all, and it, one of the things I will say is it was such a warm event. I know it's gonna sound crazy, but everybody there were shoe lovers. They were Louboutin lovers and everybody was in a good, well, once again, the champagne was over, the champagne running over. There was a lot of champagne going on, um, but it was such a great event. Excuse me, and you had a whole lot of women who just love shoes, all giddy and happy. And everyone's like, "Oh my gosh!" Hugging each other and looking at everybody. She was like, "Let me see your shoe. Let me see your shoe." And so, you know, I'd seen, you know, women. You're like, "Oh my god, look at you!" Know, I'm looking at their shoe. I'm like, "Oh my god, my shoe's gonna have my name on it." Anyway, it was such. I said that it was such a beautiful event, and it reminded me of Samal Maharali's um, video. I'm gonna link it below because once you see it, then you'll understand what I'm saying. It was such like a beautiful, warm event. Um, okay. So let's look at my shoe. I'm scared to look at my shoe. I opened it. I looked at it once. I had my I had my husband open the box. So I was like, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. So I've seen these once. Okay. So here we go. Okay. We ready? Okay. Okay. This is the shoe. This is the Torella. Oh! Okay, hold on. Ah! Oh my God. Do you 
see that? For Dion, love, see le bout. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And it was so cool. One of the reasons why he was taking so long, I, I thought that he was just going to be like writing his name. He, people were, women, people, women were coming and they had all types of designs and he was really taking time. He had like a, a glass thing. You guys saw the video. He had like a glass thing of like um, different colored pens. Like he wasn't just signing them and letting them go. He was like really taking time. So he, I mean, look at the different, there's yellow in there. There's blue. There's two shades of blue. There's yellow. There's blue. There's pink. I mean, he put the little yellow in the D and the, oh my gosh, oh, I'm so excited for this shoe, oh my god, 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 I am just like, this is just like, oh my gosh, any of you that like, there's no comparison, I mean, Coldplay is my favorite my favorite band of all time, right? Coldplay, U2, I'm British, so. Um, Boy George, I saw Boy George in, in Dallas once and I, I I nearly fainted, like I almost peed my peed my pants. He was DJing there. We went to the Coldplay concert, uh, Soldier Field, um, and we were in the box and just being there, like looking at Coldplay, like I'm having that same feeling here. Like this is like, Hold on my shoe. He signed my shoe. So the big question is, everybody's like, are you going to wear these shoes? Heck yeah. These were $945. Here's my thing, guys. I'm going to tell y'all the honest truth. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. I would not spend $945 on this boot unless he signed it. Okay? I would not. <laughs> That's why I didn't get the boots in, um, in Dallas. What I would do, like I did with these, these are... Let me show you. Please don't fall over shoes. So these are... So these are brand new Louboutins. Okay, I have like hair on my, okay. So these are brand new. I've worn them, I've worn them once. Worn them once. You can see they have like a little bit of scuff. I worn them once. These were brand new on the Real Real. I got these for two something. And how I got them, you guys know how, what I do with the Real Real. I don't spend my own money. I, when I thrift luxury, I send them to the Real Real and I leave it there as a little kitty. And so what I would do, on a on an ordinary day would be to if I saw some Louboutin boots on the real real I would get them and they'd probably be like three four five hundred dollars I've never paid full price for Louboutins I have three or four pairs I have one there two three I want to say there's another pair in there I can't remember but I have three pairs and I've never paid more than three hundred dollars so it was huge for me <laughs> paying $9.45 for this. But this is something, and I know you guys get tired of me saying this, but when you have a child, when you have a daughter, when you like, I want her, I want Riley to wear these one day. Like, that's how I feel. So I say all that to say, am I going to wear these? Absolutely. The reason why he signs here is because this never gets disturbed when you're wearing a loop. This gets worn out this part here, but this doesn't. So this is going to stay. Um, my husband asked if I wanted to get a seal, get it sealed. Um, and he would look into that so that, you know, God forbid anything, but I don't, I don't think anything happens here, but yeah, I think this is where all the wear happens in here. But, um, did he sign the other one? I think he just signed one. Yeah. He just signed one. So that's, yeah. Am I going to wear them? Absolutely. Am I going to wear them in Chicago? Absolutely not. Because they're not going to get wet. There's going to be no snow. It's going to be a cold day with no no wetness. Um, this is just a really beautiful, you can see here. It's Louboutin right here. It's just a really beautiful boot. And so the reason why I got the boot, I was looking at the boot or the pump. Um, like I said, I feel like, when it's cold and you have on, you know, a black cape and you're wearing all black and then the black with the red, I just, I think that's so sexy. So you went all black and then bam. Um, that's actually the same reason why I love the, um, the Pagal plateaus. Cause you're wearing like black pencil skirt, black blazer, and you just come out with, you know, the red salt. So 
I don't know when I'm going to wear them, but I am going to wear them right now. I just want them to just, I just need to process that this has happened. <laughs> Cause I promise you I'm still. And then I met Francois Nars. That's the next video because he signed my perfume bottle. Francois Nars of course is the owner, creator, um, man behind NARS makeup which is my favorite makeup 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 brand so it's like Christian Louboutin and then not and it was oh god okay all right keep my composure all right so Christmas happened early in the Dean house <laughs> so any any Christmas money and my birthday's um in February so all that money is going back into that account so that I can save for more Louboutins because Oh my gosh, Barney's frigging dot com. Barney's is going out of sale. So they have Louboutins on their website right now for $500, guys. Like, bar they have my Louboutins, they have my Byredo um, perfume um, because they're closing. So, like, they have my Comme de Garcon play. You talk to my daddy. My daddy, I need more Christmas money. My daddy and my husband. And Riley, too. <laughs> Anyway, so that's my haul um, or my unboxing. Sorry that I'm still like a little, it just really was like, it was just, yeah. I'm still just like, he's so much oh my God. All right, so um, yeah, now I, need, now I really need to get listing. So I have um, another video for you guys, uh, Salvation Army. I'm gonna go to Salvation Army um, and start ramping up Poshmark and eBay. So I'll take you guys with me. Um, so expect that haul this week. I'm probably going to go to like Hobby Lobby and Michael's because I really want to like get this place decked out for the holidays um, and get my office situation together. Of course, we have this light and so we're going to be fixing this room around because I really want to list in here. I just want everything to be in this space. I don't want it to be um, out there in our living area. So I'll take you guys with me on the journey. All right. Love you. We never pay retail. Bye.